Also, I just want to briefly reflect on Tuesday night, very briefly, because we talked a lot about it on, on, on the night itself. I think a lot of us are still scratching our heads about, about that, that result. But I suppose you've got to, you have got to put that to bed. You've got to put that to one side. And uh, Dean Lewington was talking about maybe that those situations haven't necessarily been addressed that much because of all the games that have happened. And it's just something maybe in training that you'll look at when teams want to defend like that. Yeah, I think it's the first game we've come up against someone who's basically you know, defended um, or we've dominated the game that much for, for that long. So um, it's something we haven't worked on as much as we'd have liked. And me and Luke and, and Ryan was, and Dean were sat there speaking about it um, after the game. And my disappointment turned into um, I was really pleased with the performance yeah. when you watched it back and stuff. And it was just lacking that last bit with the goal. But there's stuff that we, we looked at and we went through with the players on Wednesday. Um, stuff that will help us moving forward for sure. And I've said that every game. I think we're learning from every game, depending on what type of game it is and, and what challenge it's brought us. And um, Wednesday, Tuesday was a different challenge to what we've come up against. So it prepares us better for the next one. That's how I see it. I think that's how the players see it. Um, and it's been such a busy period with games and stuff. Um, after this game, obviously, we look forward to getting some more work done on the training pitch because, as I've said loads of times before, there's still loads of work to do. So i um, really pleased with the boys. I was disappointed with the result. Um, looking, watching it back again, I wasn't as disappointed as I felt immediately after the game um, because of the way they played, because of the way they dominated it. Um, I spoke to a couple of people who were at the game as well and uh, people who I, I know and trust their opinion. And, um, and they said the same thing. You know, we're starting to look like a like a real team again um, with what we're doing and the lads are really believing in it and we've got a real clear way of playing and um, that's all I can ask for really. So now we need to improve and make sure that we take what we've learnt from Tuesday into, into tomorrow's game and um, whatever challenge it, it brings, hopefully the, we'll, be, we'll be prepared for it. It's a lot easier to cope with a defeat when you can see your side passing the ball. If you couldn't string a, a, you know, two or three passes together and your shape wasn't right and defending what you know it was, or if all those things were wrong that would be more difficult to take I suppose you can just look at those negatives from the night and, and move on quite yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah. The goal we can see wasn't good enough but no. I think if fundamentally from what we're asking the players to do um, in terms of uh, style whatever you want to call it philosophy um, values on the pitch or whatever you want to call it really um, they've done exactly what we're asking them to do it's just yeah. that last bit and if you look at the stats from the game most weeks, if you uh, see those stats, we end up winning a game of football. It was just the last bit, and um, it's up to us to, to work out why that happened. And I think we've got, we've got a real clear idea on why that happened, and we showed that to the players on Wednesday, and um, they nodded and agreed for most of it. So um, hopefully, if we, if we come up with that challenge again, it means we're dominating a game of football, and we're trying to score goals, and we're trying to win a, game, uh, win a match. And if we come up against that again, we'll be more prepared for it. So, um, as I said, to you, I, feel, I feel like we've learnt with every single game we've played, uh, and that won't change. Um, and, and that's, I said, I'm not going to be emotional from game to game. We're not going to. It's all part of the process. It is what it is. We're trying to get better at what we do. Um, tomorrow will be a tough game. We look forward to, and uh, hopefully, as I said, we, we've learnt and uh, we move on. When you're in the position that MK Dons are at the moment, where relegation is still a threat, it's still an issue because you're down there and you know you're, you're near the foot of the table, but you know you're playing well. Do you do you almost ignore the fact that you're, you, or you can't ignore the fact that you're in a relegation? You can't. It's impossible because that would be the wrong thing to do. How do you approach that? Do you do, do you just have ultimate confidence and belief in your philosophy, and then the team will have that as well? I have. I have. Um... Real belief and confidence in what we we want to do, and what's given me more belief and confidence in that is the way the players have have adapted that to to it and and taking it on. And I think you can see they're really believing in it and they're really enjoying it. Um, I think we have to be aware and and we have to make sure that the players know there is a threat. One hundred percent, you have to be aware of the threat. We have to be realistic about it. Um, but not like a monkey. But we on don't the back focus kind of on it. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't talk about it. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've not looked at the league for the last four or five games. Let other people worry about that. So, and say what you want about that. That's that's true. So, um, I, I I genuinely I genuinely believe if we stick to what we're doing and and to to the improvement we're making week on week, game on game, and we're building. I said we're growing something here. We we will we will keep our position in this league and that has to be the aim and the players have to be aware of that. That's all we're aiming to do at the moment is to make sure we're still in this league next season. It's as simple as that. Um, but it's not a constant reminder of saying, you know, we're in a relegation battle. I, I think that has a negative effect. So they are aware of the position we're in, 100%, um, but they're also aware that if they keep sticking to what we're asking them to do and they keep uh, building the confidence in the team spirit, which they've really grown over the last six or seven weeks, that they've got a real chance to make sure we're, we're still in this league next season. Uh, you played a lot of football in your career. 
you haven't quite, I quite don't think, played as many games for no. one club as Dean Lewington. I mean, it's a, every time we reach one of these milestones, and obviously I've followed Dean since he moved to Milton Keynes, it, it's phenomenal. Nobody, is it ever going to happen no, again? Is anyone going to uh, do this again? No, I don't think so. It's, listen, you never say never, but I can't see how in modern football and the way it works, I can't see how anyone plays that many games. Even spending this length of time at a football club, I don't see anyone playing that amount of games. It's phenomenal. It's playing 40, 50 games a year regularly, consistently, avoiding injury, being that consistent that you stay in the team. He's carried the burden of being, which can be at times, of being a captain for the like, last 10 years or whatever it is. So... Um, it's, it is phenomenal, it really is and it, it speaks volumes of Dino and his character and, and how consistent he's been and how good a player he is, that's as simple as that he's still, he's still one, of our, you know, one of our top performers week in week out really consistent I think, he's, um, he, I think he's shown he's really starting to enjoy his football again and I think he's looked fresher and fitter so um, I'm, I'm really pleased for him it's, it's, it's an outlier, that's for sure he's an outlier, because <laughs> I'm not sure you get another one like Dino either, so um, I think he defies a lot of uh, football, sports science, and all that stuff because he just plods on and plows on. And he never, he doesn't, you know, he's an older player. I often ask him if he needs an extra day's rest and stuff, and he's not a chance. He wants to train, he wants to play, he wants to carry on going. So, um, and if he maintains his levels, he's, you know, who, who's to say he's got, he hasn't got a few more years left in him yet. So, um, brilliant achievement. I don't think it's one that could be underestimated. And I think hopefully, often in football or in life, you only appreciate what you've got and when it's gone. And I, I don't think that's the case with Dino. I think the fans, he's got a group of fans here that love him. He's got everyone here, the staff and the players know how important he's been for this football club and how important he is. So he's really appreciated. And um, if he plays tomorrow, it'll be, uh, <laughs> it'll be a huge achievement. <laughs> if he plays tomorrow, of course. Um, the word legend is bandied around quite a lot, no, isn't it? Yeah, he is, 100%. How, yeah. It'll be the biggest legend this football club has ever had. You, you, it's from, from the... From the origins, from from when it's come, he's, he's moved with it, and I just don't, there's not there will there will never be another story like that, will there? It's phenomenal, and and we have to celebrate that, and we have to, and one day when he does eventually hang his boots up, um, statue. Yeah, I think we, Luke spoke about it before. Dip him in gold and put him outside. Why not? <laughs> you've got old players like Dean Lewington, been here for years, and you've got new players as well, yeah. uh, new signings. I mean, it's, this has been an exciting transfer window, really, with the players that are coming in. And I mentioned to Dean Lewington that managers, including yourself, say there's no point in bringing players in unless they add to the squad. And it seems so far that they've done that. The, the two players that you brought in, and now the third player in Lewis Tom, Thompson. Um, tell me a little bit about him. Yeah, um, I'm really, really pleased to get him in. I think he's. Uh, we're fortunate to get we're fortunate to get players of the quality that we've got in. Um, I know there's circumstances that mean we're able to get these players, but um, he's Louis is uh, he's a player. I, I said yesterday he's a player that played in this league as a real young player, a bit like Dave Kasuma and Sam Longbay now, and then to move to a Premier League club because he was outstanding in it. He's played with under Luke at Swindon. I played with him for a few years at Norwich. So in terms of character and, and personality, another one that's going to add hugely to. Mm-hmm to the dressing room and to the culture and the environment, which Colton's done. I think everyone can see the impact he's had around the place already, uh, if you talk to the staff and the players so um, and Ben. So I'm really, really pleased. And, and if we can get him to where I know he can get to and Luke knows in terms of being physically fresh and ready to play, he hasn't played a lot of minutes, so he's going to have to um, build them up and get, and get ready to play. But um, if we do, we've got a player who, let's be honest, he's... Um, he wouldn't be in League One if it wasn't for his injuries, of his ability. So, yep, I'm, I'm pleased to get him. I'm really thankful the chairman has, has, has done it and helped us out and, and to Norwich as well for helping us out with, with both. But um, it's, I think they both could be really, well, they all could be really, really big signings. I think we've added real quality and real depth mm. to the squad. And I said that I didn't want to add just any, anyone. So, um, and we are, we are dealing as well with, with January. It's, it's crazy, but we are dealing with, we're not in a position where we can go out and get anyone financially or you know, with the league position we're in, so we have to be really um, careful about who we get in. And it's people um, I really trust. I really trust and I, and I know. And I think with this window, as I said to you, the whole aim is to stay in the football, it's just in the football league. Not, not, not that bad yet. As <laughs> uh, I stay in League One. So um, we have to be really pragmatic about it. And, and to be honest, we have to be quite short term about this window. We have to be, I think. And we need to stay and we need to make sure we secure our place. So, um, listen, there are still targets we're looking at who could really add to us now and in the future. But if we don't do any more business, I'll be really happy with what we've got. Um, I'm sure there'll be a few more people going out as well. and So we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. But so far, so good as far mm-hmm. as I'm concerned in terms of what we've, we've brought in. And Brennan, Brennan Dickinson's moving on as well um, to, to Exeter. 
yet Brennan, Brennan goes with everyone's best wishes it just hasn't quite worked out and he's, he's gone to a club where they're fighting for promotion um, and he really wanted to go there he expressed a desire to go there so um, yeah we've, we've let him go and as I said uh, I've, you know, I had a couple of texts with Brennan and spoke to him when he left and um, I'm really pleased he's found a club that hopefully it will, it will go really well for him because just, it's been really stop start for him here and it's been difficult but and he's been through a really difficult time and he sent me a really nice message to thank thank everyone for the way he's been treated after going through a difficult period in his in his personal life obviously and um, in terms of the way we've, we've managed him with the football and training and stuff like that so uh, yeah it goes with everyone's best wishes um, it's always unfortunate when it doesn't work out for a player at a football club but um, there's always you know various reasons football football changes really quickly and um, yeah I really hope he goes there and, and, and does well. Sunderland next then and here at Stadium MK they'll bring loads of fans they are potentially one of the biggest clubs outside the Premier League, let alone, you know, you know, outside the Championship. They're a huge football club playing in League One and they're just starting to show signs of what everyone was maybe expecting of them at the beginning of the season. It's a mouth-watering fixture, isn't it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think the, the last few fixtures against the bigger teams, if you like, in mm. League One, and, and you're right, Sunderland are huge and in terms of, even when they're in the Premier League, they're a huge club in terms of their support and fan base. So, I was fortunate to play there a few times uh, in, in that league and the amazing support they get. So um, they'll bring down... I prefer those kind of games here. I think our players do, if I'm honest. Uh, creates a really good atmosphere. Um, our, our fans seem to enjoy it and thrive off having a, a full, full away end as well. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be a good game, a really good game. You're right, they've picked up Phil Parkinson, manager, really good manager who, re- who knows the league really, really well and always has his teams really organised and difficult to play against. Um, but as I always say to, to, to the staff and to the players, it has to be, especially at Stadium MK, it has to be about us and what we want to do uh, and, and us trying to control a game of football. It's as simple as that, regardless of how many we've got in the, in the crowd and, and who's coming. So, um, you know, real respect for them in terms of what they're doing. I think they'll be right up there at the end of the season, but we have to go and try and win a game of football. It's as simple as that, and uh, that's what we'll try and do. Strange game at their place, wasn't it? It, was, it felt like a mad four minutes which, which ultimately cost MK Dons yeah it was it was really uh, I thought we actually played alright in the day to be honest and we, we could have maybe got something towards the end but um, yeah it was uh, yeah it was just I think it's probably a symptom of where, where we are now it's happened too much this season where a little spell in a game has cost us the rest of the you know the, cost us points um, it's happened too often and we, we've Obviously, it's slowly gone out of our game recently, and um, I'm hoping that remains the, the case. But yeah, it was a, it was a good game. I think they're a completely different team now, and I think so are we. So I, I expect it to be a completely different game in terms of systems are different, the shape, um, the managers are both different. So uh, yeah, it will be, I, I expect it to be a different game. I expect it to be a really good game. I think the last few games we've had there have been good games against good opposition. Um, we've played some really strong teams here, and we've got some good results. So hopefully, we can get another one. Do you think you're still underestimated in this league? Um, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't know how other teams are, are viewing us, really. I think that we're, we're in the position we're in in the league, so teams will see it as a chance to win games, I'm sure of that, but I hope that we're, um, we're gaining more respect by the way we're playing, and, and I think it's shown in the way teams are setting up, especially Burton on Tuesday, that we're, I think people are watching us a little bit more now, maybe, maybe uh, having to look at us a little bit more, but we need to get out of the position we're in and I'm, I'm worried about us and, and what if, you know, if teams want to pay us respect, great, and if they don't, no problem. So uh, it's about us, it's about what we do and I'm sure they'll come tomorrow with a, with a game plan, strong and, and, and believe they can win the game. It's up to us to make sure we don't allow them to do that.